guys in this video I want to show how to improve the potentiality of Rhino for architecture uh, without uh, other plugins external plugin uh, I'm working on the modeling of uh, uh, an house uh, a simple uh, model of uh, an house uh, and I want to show how to create uh, internal walls of, uh, of um, uh, this house uh, first of all, uh, it's very important to uh, insert uh, image in, uh, in a correct position. Uh, I want to uh, draw the walls of the first floor. So here you can see this horizontal image that is uh, uh, situated uh, on the first floor. Uh, on the first floor. Um, and it's very useful to have a section that show the dimension and the height, height of, um, of, uh, of the store. Uh, so if you have this, uh, this uh, position of the image, you can see in the uh, top view your uh, image and in the uh, sorry, you can see in the uh, top view the image of uh, first floor and in uh, right view you will see the image of the section uh, it's very important to um, put this uh, uh, all this uh, data all this uh, image uh, in a correct way inside the layers and it's uh, useful to draw the dimension of the mm, of the the height uh, of the two di of the different stores. Here I can see the dimension of the first uh, uh, of the first uh, mm, floor, uh, three point thirty five meters, and the uh, uh, the ground floor, two point uh, seventy uh, meters, and the uh, other dimension here. Uh, another important uh, uh, another important uh, tools that we can use to uh, draw architecture is uh, here named view you can find uh, uh, this tool uh, by click with the right button and here you 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 can uh, press on uh, uh, named uh, C planes and I created the two uh, two C plane the first one is the uh, is uh, uh, um, is the represent the the uh, the ground floor uh, and the height is uh, 0, 0.00 look at the image if i double click here i can see these uh, these uh, two crosses uh, these two arrows sorry uh, and uh, it uh, it uh, they show the, the the position of the of the C plane. If I press again the second uh, the second uh, C plane, I can see that the the two crosses uh, the two arrows uh, go uh, to the uh, second uh, to the first uh, to the first floor here. So if I go to uh, top view. I have to remember to press uh, two time here, and now the uh, the grid is uh, uh, is uh, on the on this image at the same height of this uh, of this image, and I have to remember to press project project. Now uh, I can start to draw my my walls. Uh, but uh, I don't have to, uh, for example, uh, <laughs> um, usually when uh, when uh, we create uh, a wall, we we create the the contour of this uh, of this uh, part of the wall and and then we extrude it. But uh, we can uh, uh, create uh, just a line. Uh, an external light li line that follow the shape of the of the wall for all the walls inside the the uh, inside the house. Um, I know that there is a, a tool called slab here. 
I can go to uh, to solid tools and uh, here there is slab but uh, slab uh, yes is uh, useful but uh, I want to improve this uh, tool uh, by join uh, the uh, name of the of the object that I I will create uh, we have to remember that uh, we create something for example a cylinder uh, I want to create a cylinder I can see in perspective view so I create this cylinder this is a simple geometry but if I go to pro properties of this uh, geometry uh, I can see that uh, mm, is it possible to to write the name of this geometry for example cylinder mm, cylinder okay so <coughs> so when I uh, click on the geometry here the name of this geometry is cylinder Rhino uh, uh, has got a, has a, a lot of uh, tools uh, for selection here and I can select uh, an object by name here I can find cylinder and it uh, uh, this uh, mm, this um, uh, this thing uh, this uh, this possibility uh, could be useful to create uh, a, um, a macro because uh, in this tutorial I will show how to work uh, with architecture for uh, 3D mo mm, for 3D uh, how it is possible to create uh, architecture using uh, a macro to simplify uh, your uh, work well <coughs> so my uh, uh, aim is uh, create uh, something uh, like uh, a slab starting from uh, the um the these uh, lines uh, but uh, uh, with uh, more information uh, inside uh <coughs> ins perfect so uh, here you can see uh, a macro inside uh, this uh, window that uh, that is the ma ma macro editor the macro editor uh, you can find the macro editor in uh, tools uh, rhino script uh, sorry tools commands and the micro editor macro editor uh, the macro editor is uh, is uh, is just uh, a way to collect a sequence of uh, uh, tools uh, um, and uh, when i uh, press play uh, uh, the um, uh, Rhino the software execute all these uh, uh, all these uh, um, command in the sequence that I put in uh, inside the macro that I created works uh, works in this uh, in this way there is uh, a first far uh, part of the, the script uh, that creates uh, an offset uh, inside inside the C plane, uh, uh, and a second part create an extrusion, and at the end uh, I mm, give a name uh, to the extrusion. The name is uh, uh, pareti interne. Pareti interne. Uh, so at the end uh, all the uh, geometry uh, of the of all the geometries of the mm, walls uh, is uh, are called uh, um, pareti interne uh, now uh, if i press run uh, this uh, the macro editor Ex uh, it uh, uh, will execute uh, the list of uh, tools so run and uh, um, the first question is uh, select car to offset this is the uh, first curve then the second question is uh, offset distance that is the 
thickness of my wall and I have to change 0.1 to 0.15 enter side is important the side uh, to offset because I decided to create uh, a line and I have to uh, orient the thickness of the um, of the wall in this side at the end I have to know the height of my uh, floor so the extrusion distance 3.35 is uh, the last uh, number that is correct enter so now it's very easy to uh, create the other uh, walls because the I, I know the thickness I know the height and if I press enter again I have to select a curve enter again sides click enter because the uh, s the height is correct again and uh, if I am in uh, properties I can see that all this geometry have uh, have the same have the same name pareti interne because I set it inside my macro perfect uh, I want to finish this operation for these uh, sides of my house <coughs> so I run the macro one this side enter one this side enter one this side enter curve this side enter curve this side enter again curve enter this side enter perfect this is uh, uh, another wall and the thickness of the other wall is 10 so I have to change when at this point not now but now uh, sorry again set car to offset this enter here mm, sorry set car to offset this now I have to change the thickness point 10 in this side in this side sorry enter so now I have to uh, join I have to uh, do a boolean union the boolean union is uh, uh, very uh, important to uh, create uh, uh, one uh, geometry of all these uh, part and uh, I don't want that this uh, this uh, wall is inside uh, another wall etc etc so union boolean is very important but you uh, uh, union boolean is uh, strange because in uh, uh, solid tools I can use uh, uh, boolean union I want to join this this mm, just to understand the problem enter at the end I obtain one one uh, geometry but I can see uh, this is the problem of union boolean union uh, union the boolean union sorry uh, the problem is uh, that I can see the seam uh, so uh, the line that divide uh, the two previous solids but inside uh, there is uh, no surface uh, this geometry is correct but uh, uh, I want to merge the uh, coplanar uh, surfaces and another <coughs> problem that is I have to uh, select all these surface but uh, if you remember I give to the this uh, geometry a name the name is uh, Pareti Interne so 
I can select by name and join all together with Boolean union and at the, at the end I can merge the co-planar surfaces. Uh, for this I create another macro. The macro is <coughs> this one. This is the new macro. With this I can select uh, by name uh, I press uh, the element with the same name to the other elements uh, and uh, I can do the boolean union and at the end of the boolean union I want to create I want to merge all the coplanar faces well run this script select the object when I select the object this object uh, uh, um as a name uh, and uh, uh, Rhino recognizes all the geometry with the same name and uh, select all them so select object here enter it recognizes all the geometry and connect the various the various part of the uh, connect the geometry all together and as you can see it's not possible to see the 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 seam the seams of uh, the different uh, uh, geometry Th here i don't know why there is no name so uh, uh, okay no problem i can join uh, i can uh this way perfect and merge uh, sorry merge this perfect <coughs> okay in uh, next video i want to show how to create uh, door and window using a script uh, sorry using macro bye